Emily, and I'd like to show you this neat little device called the Kilowatt. It's kind of fun to see how much electricity different things in your house use. The Kilowatt shows that our coffee maker is using 892 watts. Our juicer uses 14.2 watts. Now let's see how much our toaster uses. Here's how to use the kilowatt. Get an adult first because you may have to move some things around. First, make sure that the device you are using is working. You might need to leave the wall switch on. You unplug a device from the wall by holding the plug, never by pulling on the cord. And plug the kilowatt into the wall. You should see some numbers appear. It doesn't really light up, so you might need a flashlight to see it clearly. Then plug the device into the kilowatt. There is just one place to look for the numbers. Press the middle button where it says watt. A number should appear with the word watt next to it. If you press the middle button again, it says VA next to the number. We don't want to see the VA number, so I'll press the middle button again. See, it says watt next to the number. You may see the number get higher and lower a little bit, but it's pretty close. This fan is using 27.4 watts per hour. If you press the pink button on the right, it shows how many kilowatt hours have been used since you plugged in the device. See, it says KWH next to the number. Press it again, and it shows the amount of time the device has been plugged in, whether or not it was turned on. See, it says clock at the top. So the middle button shows watts, and the pink button shows kilowatt hours. Kilowatt hours are the number of watts that are used each hour, divided by 1,000. If a device uses 1,000 watts in one hour, that means it uses one kilowatt hour of electricity in that hour. The power company keeps track of your home's kilowatt hours. Your family pays for each kilowatt hour. You can compare electrical devices in your home to see what uses more electricity. Just write down the number of watts before you unplug the kilowatt. The kilowatt will not remember the numbers. It may be easier to use an extension cord while testing your devices. My phone charger uses 4.3 watts. that even when your cell phone isn't plugged in, it still uses watts? My laptop uses 69.8 watts. Did you know that even when your laptop is unplugged, it's still using energy? Once I unplug it, the kilowatt shows zero. When the Wii console is on, it uses 12.8 watts. It uses the same amount of energy even if I walk away. My blow dryer uses almost 1,500 watts when it's turned on. When my blow dryer is turned off, it uses zero watts, even though it's still plugged in. So I'm not saving any energy by unplugging the blow dryer. It's still a good idea to unplug it though, so it doesn't get in anybody's way. The refrigerator is kind of hard to do, so you may not want to do that. A refrigerator isn't on all day. It turns itself on and off to keep from getting too warm or too cold. To get a true average, you would have to leave it plugged into the kilowatt all day. Also, it's kind of hard to get to the plug. 
You can't use it on the air conditioner or clothes dryer. You can only use it on electrical devices that will fit in the front of the kilowatt. Even without a kilowatt, you can see how much energy light bulbs are using. Have an adult help you read the writing on top of the light bulb. Whoa, don't touch it. It could be hot. Even if the light is turned off, it could be hot if somebody had it on a minute ago. Okay, it's not hot. This bulb says 60 watts on the top. This means that it uses 60 watts of energy per hour that it is turned on. This kind of bulb is called an incandescent. This is the new kind of bulb. It's called the CFL, or compact fluorescent. It's just as bright as the incandescent, but it's not as hot. Which one do you think uses more energy? On the CFL, the wattage is not written on the top. It's written on the base. We are looking for the number with the W. This uses 13 watts for every hour that it's turned on. Once you know how much electricity your devices are using and when they are using electricity, you can help your family save energy and money. Saving energy is good for the planet too, so we all win!